contemporary, I think it's very emotion driven. Like I just put what I'm feeling at the moment or how I can connect to the song. If the song is bring a certain kind of message, I want the people to feel that while I'm dancing. The willpower and energy it takes to top yourself each week is crazy just because you don't want to ever settle. If you do good one week, you don't want to say, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing next week because you never know what the next person is going to bring. I definitely just want to be in a competition with myself and get better every week. I think what drives me more is definitely competing against myself because I am a bit of a perfectionist. I just always want to be better than I was yesterday and I learned a lot from self-experience and I know what to do, what not to do, so definitely competing against myself. I love dance in general. Everything about it, the sweat, the tears, the blood, the bruises that I get, I literally love everything about dance. You don't go into this knowing you're going to make top 20, but now that I'm here it's like I can do anything. My style of dance is contemporary, and I chose it because when I freestyle, it comes out as a contemporary dance. I just put all my feeling into it and emotion, and that's what I get, contemporary. To be in the top 20, it means everything to me. I'm hoping to get so much out of this. I've always dreamt of it. I've never thought I would actually be here, and to be here, it's crazy. I'm excited. <laughs> For me, it's like expressing myself, just because I'm, I'm really a quiet person. I kind of keep to myself and, you know, I don't talk a lot and everything. But for me, that's where I, when I dance, I speak through that. So it's, it's expressing myself. The dream that brought me to do the show was, um, I've always wanted to try out ever since I was watching it. But I think just telling myself I don't have anything to lose, like, this can open up so many doors for me. Not, I mean, you don't go into this knowing you're gonna make top 20, but now that I'm here, it's like I can do anything. Like I feel just really proud of myself. <laughs> so far, my most memorable moment of auditions would probably be Vegas, just because not knowing if you're gonna make it to the next round and everything, it's, the adrenaline and the excitement and just the stress, all of that is, it was, it was a lot, but I learned a lot from it, like about myself and um, personally and as a dancer, so I think that's most memorable. The three most important things preparing for a routine would have to be just um, retaining the choreography, knowing, like, knowing the choreography like the back of my hand. Um, executing it like the choreographer wants it, you know, not making it my own so much unless they ask for that. And then uh, just dancing, not just doing the steps, not saying, okay, since she told me to put my right hand out, I'm putting my right hand out, like actually dancing it because that's what we are. We have to tell the story through our dance and our movement.